Hi, I'm Luke from Leupold, and today I'm going to walk you through the information you'll need to order your free Leupold custom dial. When you buy your CDS scope, you'll notice that it comes with a standard minute of angle or milliradian dial. This is not a custom dial. It's just the one you'll use to sight in your rifle. In order to get the free custom dial, you'll need to gather a little bit of information and head over to leupold.com slash free CDS. It might look like a lot of information at first, but don't worry, it's all pretty simple to gather and most information can be found on your ammo box or on the manufacturer's website. The first thing you'll need is your scope's serial number. We use this to validate whether or not the scope has already received a free dial. If you're getting a second dial for the same scope, there is an additional cost. Next, you'll need the caliber of your bullet. For example, are you shooting a 243, a 7mm, or a 308? The next thing we'll need is the bullet weight in grains. If you don't know this off the top of your head, it can be found on your ammo box. Next, we'll need the bullet type. This might be something specific like the Nosler Partition or the Hornady ELDX, but it might also be as simple as a full metal jacket or a jacketed soft point. The ballistic coefficient and muzzle velocity can also be found on your ammo box or on the manufacturer's website. Ideally, you'll be able to use a chronograph to get your rifle's exact muzzle velocity. But unless you're shooting at extreme distances, the box information will definitely work. Next, you'll need to pick a sight and distance. 100 yards is the most common. Then you'll need to find your sight height. This might sound a little tricky or at least something you've never measured before. A basic rule of thumb is that most hunting rifles will be around 1.5 inches and most AR platforms will be around 2.5 inches. Of course, for the most accurate results, use a ruler to measure the distance from the firing pin to the center line of your scope, usually where the rings come together. Finally, we'll need the average elevation you'll be shooting at and the average temperature you'll be shooting in. Again, this doesn't have to be exact. Plus or minus 2,000 feet elevation and plus or minus 20 degrees will get you close for most situations. Once you've collected the information, head over to leupold.com slash free CDS and fill out the order form. It's that simple. You'll be one step closer to stacking more hits with less work.